Hi, I'm Catherine. I wanted to do a quick video for my channel about how to assemble the clarinet. I get asked this a lot, so I wanted to make a video that you could replay every single time you're assembling t your clarinet so that it's a lot easier and then it becomes just like second nature and it will. So before you assemble the clarinet, it's really important to know the parts of the clarinet, what they're called, so that you can do this intelligently and talk about the clarinet intelligently. So first, the longest parts of your clarinet are called the upper joint and the lower joint. So you might, it looks, the upper joint looks like this, the lower joint looks like this. Okay, so then the next part is the barrel. It looks like this. Um, you should see the the clarinet's name or whoever made your clarinet on the barrel. You can kind of barely see mine because my clarinet is older. It says buffet on it. Yours might say Selmer or something else, Yamaha, Jupiter. But it, it's really cool to know your clarinet, who made your clarinet. It, it, that's on the barrel. Next, you'll see the bell. It looks like a bell, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, right? And then you'll have a mouthpiece. It's named that way because that it's where you put your mouth, right? And then a ligature. And what the ligature does is it holds your reed on the mouthpiece. So it's important that you have your ligature or else you won't be able to make your sound. And then you'll have a reed. And also important to assembling your clarinet, especially if your clarinet is brand new, is uh, you might need some cork grease. And the purpose of cork grease is to put it on your corks um, if you can't, can't get your clarinet together. And so we'll go over how to do that. So first, what I like to do and what I tell my students is to take your upper joint and your lower joint. And you're going to notice that there's some bridge keys. So this is the bridge key right here on the upper joint. And the bridge key on the lower joint looks like this right here. Okay, so now when we assemble our clarinet, we're going to twist. We're never going to go like this because that can break the clarinet very easily. You want to nicely twist the clarinet. And we want out to to align the bridge keys so the clarinet makes the sound. And the clarinet will not make a sound if you don't align those bridge keys properly. So it's important that you align those bridge keys right there. Okay, so after you've assembled your upper joint and your lower joint, you're going to take either your bow or your barrel, uh, your bow or your barrel. So I'm going to take my barrel and there's a um, bigger side and kind of a smaller side. You're going to take the, the bigger side goes down and again I'm going to twist. And I'm going to twist all the way. Now then I'm going to take the bell and let's talk about you know if it's really hard to get on um, I'm going to take the cork grease. It's not chapstick. It looks like chapstick. Don't put it on your lips. Only put it on the clarinet. Now I'm going to take a little hunk, little chunk, hunk or chunk, and put it on the on the cork. This is cork. So see, I got a nice big chunk. I'm going to push it with my thumb really, really good and get it nice and thick into my cork really good. Now I don't want to go just like this on my cork because that generally doesn't do anything. You want to really push with your thumb. It kind of gets gross, but that's really what's effective. So if it, only do this when you're assembling, if you really, 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 really can't get it uh, on. Uh, in general, you want to do this after, after you play, okay? And so that, um, so if it's really hard and it keeps on being really hard, you want to keep doing it after you play for maybe the first, um, like week or so and until it's really it's really it's assembling it's a lot easier so do that after you play or only um, when you're about to play if you really 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 can't get it on um, and then 
you're going to put on your bell. And the reason for that is you don't want the cork, the cork grease to get like in your uh, pads at all. So it's just a little bit better if we do it after we play. And then the last thing is your mouthpiece. So here's your mouthpiece. And the same thing, we're going to twist. And you want to align this flat part with this part right here. So see how I can draw my finger all the way down with this first hole. Now we're going to take the reed and you need to get it wet a little bit. So maybe for like 20 seconds, you put it in your mouth, get it wet. And then when it's wet, you're going to align the tip of the reed to the tip of the mouthpiece. And maybe there's just a, a little bit of clearance right here. Right? And now, I'm, see how I have one thumb on the reed? I'm going to very carefully take my ligature, and again, there's a smaller side and a larger side. The larger side goes down, and you can very easily chip the top of the reed. I'm going to very carefully put it on the top of the reed, um, loosen it until you can push it down enough. So this is a common issue. Commonly, I see students put it about here. Um, you're not going to get a good sound that way. You want to loosen your ligature until you can push it down um, uh, far enough. And so that might take a, a minute. And then you push it down with your thumb. So I'm pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. So that's about good. And then you want to uh, tighten it again. You don't want to crank it. Uh, you don't need to crank it so hard that you, it's the strips, the screws are stripped just so that it's snug and then you'd be ready to go. So then you have a an assembled clarinet. Um, I like to tell my students I disassemble it the opposite way. So I disassemble it doing taking my reed off, my ligature off, my mouthpiece off, um, and then you know the the belt and the barrel and then my my joints. So I hope that you, that helped you learn how to assemble the clarinet. It becomes easier the more that you do it. Uh, so just remember, it does become easier even though there's so many parts. Um, and I tell my students that um, it'll become like second nature. So if that video helped you, please like, like it and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.